disaster. They didn't even get within five miles of them before dawn, and they were up and ready for us. The men slip off and don't return. Your army is melting away. Perhaps it's best if they do. These men are in no fit state to fight anyone, let alone Cumberland's army. I must speak to our illustrious commander-in-chief. Lord Murray. Your Highness. This weather is so foul. Where do you get weather like this, Murray? From hell? I'm afraid I must ask you, do you intend to fight this battle today? I don't have any other alternative. Your grand plan of night attack came down to nothing, so we must fight. But these men are cold and hungry and exhausted from their march. Half dead with fatigue. They won't stand a chance. It was your counsel to march all night. If they are in no state to fight, they are in no state to retreat either, Murray. You know that. To commit these men to the field would be murdered. Do I have to remind you, Murray, who I am and who you are? I must speak my mind, Your Highness. Do you think I'd have it this way? Do you, Murray? We should retire to the hills now. Our men know the ground there. I have already considered that alternative. I don't agree with it. We shall fight and win. Never mind. We'll soon be putting an end to a bad affair. We shall face Cumberland today. We shall defeat him on this moor, on, on this... Uh... Culloden Moor, sir. Yes, Culloden. 